Hello everyone, today we have some exciting news from India's space exploration efforts. India's first solar exploratory mission, Aditya L1, has achieved a significant milestone by starting to collect important scientific data about the Sun. Let's dive into the details in this video. On September 2nd, Aditya L1 was successfully launched into the space using PSLV C-57 rocket and on following day, the vehicle was placed into its intended orbit. This mission aims to study the Sun and has begun its journey to the Sun-Earth L1 point. If you want to know more about the Aditya L1 mission, you can watch this video. The link provided is here. By September 3rd, Aditya L1 was confirmed to be healthy and operating nominally, and it's performed its first earthbound maneuver successfully. The second and third earthbound maneuvers were successfully completed on September 5th and 10th respectively, and ISRO kept us updated on Twitter. After that, Aditya L1 completed its fourth earthbound maneuver successfully on September 15th bringing it closer to its final orbit. Before moving forward, let's explore the structure of Aditya L1 spacecraft. Aditya L1 is equipped with seven different payloads. Four of these are dedicated to studying the sun's light, while the other three are designed to measure in-source parameters like plasma and magnetic fields. If you would like to see the video on the payloads, please comment yes in the comment section. One of the standout instruments on board is STEPS, which stands for Super Thermal and Energetic Particle Spectrometer. It plays an essential role in the Aditya Solar Wind Particle Experiment payload. In addition, on September 18th, STEPS begins collecting scientific data. It has six sensors, each observing in different directions and has started measuring suprathermal and energetic ions ranging from 20 kilo electron volt per nucleon to 5 mega electron volt per nucleon as well as electrons over 1 mega electron volt it uses both low and high energy particle spectrometers then why is this data collection so important the data collected will help scientists understand how particle behaves around our planet especially in the presence of Earth's magnetic field. STEPS started its work on September 10th, and by that time, it was already more than 50,000 kilometers away from the Earth. To put this into the perspective, that's more than eight times the Earth's radius and far beyond our planet radiation belt region. What's truly fascinating is that STEPS will keep collecting data as Aditya L1 moves towards the Sun-Earth L1 point. Once it reaches its intended orbit, these measurements will continue. The graph shows variations in the energetic particle environment within the Earth's magnetosphere collected by one of the units. The data collected around the L1 point will provide us with the valuable insights into the origin, acceleration and anisotropy of solar winds as well as space weather phenomena. It's worth mentioning that STEPS was developed by the Physical Research Laboratory with the valuable support from the Space Application Center in Ahmedabad. On September 19th, Aditya L1 performed a significant maneuver known as Trans-Lagrangian Point 1 insertion successfully. This maneuver puts Aditya L1 on a path that will take it to the Sun-Earth L1 point. It will be placed in an orbit around L1. After about 110 days, ISRO shared these updates on Twitter as well. Aditya L1 is not the first time the Indian Space Research Organization has amazed us. Remember Chandrayaan-3? That mission made India the first country to land on the Moon's South Pole. So, there you have it, a mission taking India to a new heights in space exploration. Aditya L1 is embarking on a journey to unlock the mysteries of the sun. I hope you like this video. To support our channel, 
please give a thumbs up subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated with more informative videos